In the never-ending cycle of scam warnings, the latest target, gas pumps. Good evening, everyone. I'm Scott McDonald. I'm Ann Nyberg. It's called skimming. Thieves are going after gas pump card readers, and the numbers of incidents skyrocketing. News 8's Jason Newton is live in New Haven to explain how this works. Jason. And probably one of the last things you think about as you set your holiday travel plans is exactly where you're going to stop to pump gas along the way. But the Department of Consumer Protection says you need to know exactly where you're going to stop to fill up and also to pay close attention to the pump before you swipe your card. Card skimming is when thieves put a card reader inside the panel, and when you swipe at the pump, it copies your card info. The State Department of Consumer Protection says reported cases of card skimming at gas pumps all over the state have nearly doubled this year with 30 reported cases. The number could actually be much higher since many people, rightly so, call police, but they don't also report the crime to consumer protection. The department suggests several methods of protection, starting with paying close attention to this strip called the pump seal. Make sure the pump seal isn't broken or tampered with. If you see a tampered pump seal, then don't use it and report it to the attendant inside. Use a credit card or cash since credit cards will refund stolen funds and paying with cash will avoid the scam altogether and pay inside the gas station where chances of encountering a card reader are slim. New Haven station owner Jerry Katz demonstrates what to look for when you get out for a fill up. The consumer should know that if this is ripped and it says void, all right, then there's a strong possibility there's a card reader in there that's taking their uh, credit card number. Now, some tips that you can do at home to guard your personal info include checking credit card statements regularly. It's important to notice unfamiliar charges as soon as possible. Pay attention to where you get your gas, so if you fall victim, you can at least retrace your steps back to the station where it happened at. And if you think you were victimized, call the credit card company first, then call the police, then contact the Connecticut Department of Consumer protection. Now, of course, this is just an unfortunate reality of the situation we live in, but with a little bit of vigilance, you can save the headaches down the road. We're live in New Haven tonight. Jason Newton, News 8.